Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I play the rest of this video, I just want to let you know that this is a completely spoiler um, review of Dark Dawn. So if you have not read Dark Dawn and you do not want to be spoiled, don't read or watch this video because it does contain spoilers and very heavy spoilers for the Never Night and Dark Dawn. And yeah, so this is your only warning. Otherwise, feel free to continue. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be discussing Dark Dawn by Jay Crystal. For those of you who don't know, Dark Dawn is the third and final book in the Never Night Chronicle and it broke me. If you want to see my immediate thoughts and feelings, I will leave my vlog up here and just I want to just say that this book was incredible. I don't think that I could have wished, I, well I did wish for a better ending but I don't think that like this book just was so solid and just like I liked it a lot. I liked the ending um, and I just it was a fantastic. We got relationship dynamics between Mia, Trick and Ash. We got bonding between Mia and Mercurio. We got Ash and Trick being snippy at and it <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself. This is the third book in the Never Night Chronicles, so it's the finale. It's the death in the birth, life, death saga. And my favourite thing is that Mia is still Mia. Like, even though all these gods and everything are talking to her, she's like, I don't care about your marriage problem. Screw all y'all. I just want to go fight for my brother. And her love for her brother was so admirable, and I love that scene. Like, some people were saying that it's like, well, she thought he was dead. And I'm like, well, yes, if someone you loved, even though she was only like 10, but if someone you loved was taken away and thought dead and you find out they're alive, I, I, I definitely would have reacted the same way Mia would have. I liked that their relationship wasn't just, oh, sister, oh, brother, and that it had time because it had all this prejudice and all this sort of tension that was worked out. I hated Hated, 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 hated the way that Eclipse died. I hated that. I, 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 I am not good with this, with explaining my feelings because I just feel like it was a lot, but it was perfect. I will say that like I was very, very scared going into this about Mia's death because it is confirmed that she's dead and I won't spoil the very ending, but I just felt a little bit, un like a tiny bit, little bit underwhelmed by the ending itself. And I don't know whether that's because the ending has been built up over this many years or whether the ending was practically just a little bit to tie up the strings perfect. I really don't know. I will see you guys in the and yeah, I I just loved this book. I loved every bit of it. I love Mia becoming the Queen of Scoundrels. I love Ash and Mia, Trick and Mia, that that scene ugh, that Mia and Trick scene just made me so happy. And I really, really loved it. So those are my thoughts on Duck Dawn by Jake Christoph, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!